Welcome to 558 Parkside Tech, where we talk about tech's past, present, and future of tech. I'm your tech plug, Mike. Today, we're talking about virtualization. I'll see you at work right after this. 558 Parkside Tech, in effect, 558 Parkside Tech, in effect, 558 Parkside Tech, in effect, 558 Virtualization is using software to create virtual environments. You see, back in the day, many applications were put on different servers. Like an example here, you have an email application, you have a web server, and you have a database. And for the email, you might want to put it on a Windows operating system, and the web server, you might put it on Unix, as well as a database you might put on the Unix. But each of these, we'd put on a separate server. But now, by putting it on a separate server or, or on a separate box, you would notice that each of them would need electricity, cooling, patching, software updates, security, and you'd have to find an actual storage to actually put it on from the very beginning. But now with hypervisors, we can create virtual environments. Nice job, team. Now with hypervisors, they, were, they come in two flavors. They come in type one hypervisor, which is what most of your large companies or major enterprise companies are using. And with a, with a type one hypervisor, you put that on an empty server. There's nothing else on it but this hypervisor to begin with. Now with the hypervisor type two, you put that on a, a personal computer. Maybe you're running Windows already. Then you would put up, use a hypervisor type two in that instance. Now when using a hypervisor type one, which most of your major enterprise applications are using or companies are using, it works this way. You would allocate CPU, allocate your RAM, and allocate storage. Then you would determine which kind of operating system you want to use. You would install that. Then you would install the application on top of that. My time has come. Now the example here is similar to the original example that I showed you. But in this case, on one server, one single box, we're going to load all three applications. How? Hold on, bro. So what we had to do is if there was only 12 gig of RAM, we had to divide the RAM among each of these applications. And each of these applications unknowingly thinks that they're the only ones running. They don't think anything else is running. There's like standalone. So in this case, we let the database have a Unix operating system. We gave it two and four, four gig and gave it four gig of space just for our example. And that's how you would operate or deal with the type one hypervisor. Now for the non-techies, what do I mean? It's like taking a house and dividing it and giving each room its own space, but the size of the house doesn't change. You have to divide it up to make it work. Boring. Now there are many different type of hypervisors. There's Oracle VM, there's Microsoft Hyper-V, there's KVM, there's vSphere hypervisor, there's VirtualBox, etc. Huh? There are many different type one and type two hypervisors. Now with the type two hypervisor, you would do exactly the same thing. You already have your operating system, an example I gave you, you already have Windows mounted, so then you would put your hypervisor on there as well. Then you would turn around and put any of the individual applications on top of that. So what are the benefits of virtualization? Well, you save money because you don't have as many servers running and you save hardware space, you save electricity, it's very portable. You can port from one server with the hypervisor to another server with the hypervisor. You select your safe floor space as well as a footprint. And for disaster recovery, as I previously mentioned, you can port over and it's very scalable. And now, no cap. Please subscribe and hit the like button so that you can get the latest videos, as well as please visit 558parksidetech.com to get the latest news and articles. Yeah, yeah, 558 Parkside Tech in effect, that tech 558 
apart. Tight tech in effect. Fe- 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 tap in the future. Let me introduce ya. 558 Park Side Tech, about to school ya. 558 Park Side Tech, in effect, fe- 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 558 Park Side Tech, in effect, fe- 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 558 Park Side Tech, in effect, fe- 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 park, 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 son.